This video is to demonstrate the microsurgical technique in excision of intramedullary craniocervical ependymomas. As we can see in this preoperative MRI of a 27 years old female came complaining of neck pain and bilateral arm pain and parathesia showing intramedullary tumor from the level of foramen magnum to the level of C5-6 vertebrae. After positioning of the patient in the prone position and opening of the skin incision, laminoplasty was performed from C2 to C6 where the lamina was removed in order to return again after the operation. After opening of the dura, identification of the midline was a very important step where the site of the uh, maximum expansion of the cord the midpoint between the two dorsal roots and the site of conversions of the vessels was identified preparing for opening of the pia and myelotomy. Myelotomy was done by sharp dissection in order to expose the tumor from all of its borders. The bipolar was used with a very low current and as minimal as possible then in order to open the cord and to expose the tumor we just uh, put a suture from the dura to the pia on both sides decompression of the tumor using the cusa for central decompression and minimizing the size of the tumor was a very important step and then we used the irrigation dissection technique. It's a forehand technique in order to dissect the tumor from the cord. As we can see here, we can see a plane between the tumor tissue and the cord tissue. Afterwards, we just minimized the uh, size of the tumor in order to prevent rough manipulation of the heavy tumor on the cord going furtherly with the irrigation dissection technique and then as we can see the blood supply of the tumor is coming from anterior very important is to preserve the anterior spinal artery during dissection of the tumor as we can see total uh, removal of the tumor from all of its borders Afterwards, we just closed the pia with pial sutures in order to close the cord again. And then the dura was closed and laminoplasty was implemented. Postoperatively, the patient was doing well. This is directly postoperative. As we can see, the patient is doing very well moving her arms, walking in the corridor. After four months, as we can see, she, is, she looks like a completely normal. And the post-operative MRI showed total excision of the tumor. So as we can say as a conclusion, the irrigation dissection technique is a very important step in excision of intramedullary tumors where the plane of the tumor can be identified and easily resected from the viable core tissue. Thank you.